हे गाइस वेलकम टू डेटा ट्रैक योर वन स्टॉप चैनल फॉर ऑल द डेटा साइंस एंड मशीन लर्निंग अपडेट्स इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट ए आई एजेंट्स and not only that we are also going to build our own ai agent from scratch using vanilla python and no fancy libraries so with that let's get started in this world of ai agents first let's talk about what these ai agents are ai agents are autonomous independent agents that not just offer suggestions like uh, the chat gpt or other conversational llms will do you ask a question it will give you the answer they not only just give suggestions or do question answering but they are also capable of taking decisions they are capable of making decisions and taking actions without constant human inputs definitely lm serves as their brains but they have the autonomy to manage complex tasks and execute necessary steps they can also leverage tools they have access to tools like calculator web search engine they can even interact with other ml models or they can talk to other ai agents to enable the seamless task execution they can perform action like making a phone call drafting and sending email placing online orders booking online movie tickets or even querying and updating the databases so this sort of actions an ai agent can take since we already saw that how agents are different from conversational llms unlike conversational llms they also have the capability to operate autonomously they have the capability to make decisions and execute actions but let's also understand the other terminologies like llms copilots and rex so the difference of agents from llms copilots and rex is pretty evident once again llms are conversational llms which are fine tuned on question answering data set Uh, enabling them to handle diverse tasks you can ask a question you can give it a code which is not working it will give you the working code and so on so they provide answers or suggestions to your questions copilots are also conversational llms but they are fine tuned on uh, specific tasks which can be coding writing data management and so on some examples are github copilot microsoft 365 copilot and so on rag stands for retrieval augmented generation it combines the information retrieval of private of external data set with language generation enabling llms to access and utilize external or private data which it might not be trained on since llms are only trained on public data set uh, for example uber developed a rag system called gini integrating its internal wikipedia with an llm to create a private rag powered copilot utility you can refer to uber's gini blog for more details in one of my video also i created a rag to demonstrate um how company's private data set can be utilized with an llm to enhance knowledge sharing and maintaining data privacy so uh, i will add the link of the video in the description uh, also this general llm scope pilots and rack can be enhanced with memory enabling them to maintain context across conversations for a more seamless and personalized user experience so so far in this slide we have looked at llms which are trained on question answering data set copilots which are again conversational llms but they are fine tuned on task specific things let's say code writing data management then we also looked at rag which combines private or, or external data of the company along with the capabilities of llm to provide a more sophisticated and holistic solution uh, reducing hallucinations and so on there is a detailed video in my channel which you can also look at and uh, we already saw that how agents are different agents are not just uh llms or copilots which are just giving suggestions or uh, uh answering to your questions but they can also make decisions and take actions definitely llms are their brains but they have access to different tools like calculator web search engine they can even talk to other ai agents and so on they can do multiple tasks like making a phone call drafting sending email placing online order booking online ticket querying and updating database and so on next what we will do is we will see some of the real world examples of ai agents that can be built because in this video also we will build an ai agents but what other ai agents uh, companies are building and or what other ai agents ideas that you can build upon so let's look at that uh, we can have a customer service agent which resolves issues answers inquiries and provides personalized solutions uh, remaining within the company's policies so agent can definitely make decisions but it has to adhere to some policies right so it can provide personalized solution but within the company policies for example an e-commerce uh, agent let's say for something like amazon it can address delivery concerns it can suggest options like refund or replacement if the customer is not happy to ensure customer satisfaction similarly a financial advisor agent can act as a personal finance assistant it can analyze spending income risk appetite of the person to provide personalized investment plans it can automate tasks like portfolio task management goal tracking and only user need to review and approve for the execution rest everything it will take care of there can be another example which is my personal favorite educational 
ट्यूटरिंग एजेंट दैट प्रोवाइड पर्सनलाइज ट्यूटरिंग टू स्टूडेंट्स बाई एडेप्टिंग लर्निंग मटेरियल बेस्ड ऑन देयर प्रोग्रेस एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ सब्जेक्ट्स सम सब्जेक्ट्स दे आर वीक ऑन इट कैन फोकस मोर ऑन दैट इट कैन ऑफर मोर क्विजेज एंड इंटरेक्टिव सेशन ऑन दो टॉपिक्स वाई द टॉपिक्स द पर्सन इज ऑलरेडी प्रिटी स्ट्रॉग अपॉन दे इट कैन पे लेसर अटेंशन टू सो इन दिस केस वी कैन क्रिएट सम एजुकेशनल ट्यूटरिंग एजेंट सिमिलरली इन इंडस्ट्रियल सेटअप वी कैन हैव इक्विपमेंट मेंटेनेंस एजेंट विच यूजेस ए आई टू प्रिडिक्ट इक्विपमेंट्स फेलियर्स एंड ऑल्सो दिस एजेंट कैन क्रिएट एंड एक्जीक्यूट मेंटेनेंस प्लान प्रो एक्टिवली मिनिमाइजिंग द डाउन टाइम एंड इंश्योरिंग सीमलेस प्रोडक्शन कंटिन्यूटी सो डिफरेंट मशीन्स वैन दे नीड द सर्विसिंग एंड इट कैन ऑल्सो एक्जीक्यूट द प्लान सो दैट द डाउन टाइम इज मिनिमम सो इन दिस वे यू कैन क्रिएट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ ए आई एजेंट्स विच आर कैपेबल ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग द टास्क मेकिंग अ डिसीजन एंड एक्जीक्यूटिंग इट विथ मिनिमल ह्यूमन इनपुट एंड ऑल्सो इट विल रिमेन विद इन द पॉलिसीज और विद इन सम बाउंड्रीज इट कान टेक जस्ट रैंडम डिसीजन्स नेक्स्ट इन दिस वीडियो वी विल इम्प्लीमेंट अवर ऑन ए आई एजेंट वट वी विल इम्प्लीमेंट इज वी विल इम्प्लीमेंट ए एजेंट agent x for a company xyz what this agent will be capable of doing uh, the employees can ask project related questions finance or other teams can inquire about departments employee counts and so on also developers can uh, give their code bases to debug code or request logic to be converted into code and so on so uh, it can be used for different type of tasks now what this ai agent will do once the uh, request comes to it it will make a call uh, whether it has to uh, use utility like employee database or it has to use utility like company's internal wikipedia or it will use its own internal general intelligence that it has learned from the public data set on which it was trained upon to answer the query so the ai agent can in a way you can think of interact with a sql agent or uh the project agent or it can use its own general intelligence to answer the query uh, and give the best satisfactory result to the user and for developing this agent x we will use vanilla python no fancy libraries we will develop everything from scratch the code of this uh, notebook uh, i will provide in the description section so with that let's get started since we already know that agent is capable of making decisions and executing actions to make decisions it needs some intelligence it needs a brain and that brain is a llm in this uh, development of agent x we will use llama as the brain of uh, the agent x and next what we will do is let me go to the table of contents we will implement this agent x where employees can ask project related questions finance team can ask about information about departments employee count their salary who is the head of that department and so on developers can ask generic questions like debugging a code or converting uh, their their logic into codes and so on and uh, what the agent will do it will either use its general intelligence or it will call the database or sql agent or it will call the project agent to answer uh, to the query uh, to best cater to the uh, customer satisfaction so first of all we will download the llm which is the brain of our agent and here we will use llama 3 uh, 8 billion parameter model and we are using olama as a utility to download this llama 3 model the code is all there and uh, once Uh, we have downloaded the llama into our local or private setup uh, next we will also initialize our database so we can assume that this is the company's employee database which has employee name employee email organization the, uh, within the company they are working for designation year of experience salary location hire date and these are all the employees working in the company so it all the information is there in the database next we also have a wikipedia of all the projects so all the projects are there uh, like you can see the first project is nova predictive maintenance of industrial equipments uh, and so on so there are like multiple projects uh, which uh, are there next what we will do is since these projects are uh, text based data we will convert it into embedding because here we want to enable a rag so what will happen when a user query will come the agent x will decide whether to use his general intelligence whether to call the sql agent to query the database or to look have a look up at the projects uh, wikipedia now this project wikipedia is a uh, big text chunk we will convert it into embedding and kind of enable a rag based system which is a retrieval augmented generation system to enable that rag first of all we'll convert each project into an embedding for which we are using the sentence transformer and uh, that's it so now our sql agent is ready our rag based agent is ready and also the llm has its all general intelligence uh, now whenever a query comes 
the agent X will make a decision. It will use its brain to make a decision that uh, here is the prompt. You are a decision making assistant for company XYZ. Your role is to classify user queries into one of the following. Either it's a general query that can be answered using your general knowledge and reasoning without referencing any company specific data. Second is a technical query which relates to project details requiring access to the internal project database techniques use results or project specific knowledge so for this it will use the reg agent and if it's employee details related query uh, which is related to employee related information name email salary location designation and so on it requires to uh, call the sql agent then it will call the sql agent and uh, this is a decision making agent which is just making a decision then out of these three things uh, what it needs to do and we have also done some uh, few short prompting where we have decided uh, shown it some prompts which city has the highest uh, salary among employees this is query of type third which is employee details related query similarly what is the latest ai technology trend it is a query of type one that can be answered with general intelligence another example what technologies were used in project alpha it's a query of type two where it needs to query its internal database so project wiki or the reg agent so this function is just to make a decision the agent will first make a decision which agent to further call and uh, the results will be decoded that whether it's a query 1, query 2 or query 3 because we are asking it to return the result in a JSON format. And also we have a SQL agent. The idea of SQL agent is it has the information of database available. It just need to convert that English language into a query and that query can be fired to get the results. For example, we have also shown it some example, get the average salary of employees grouped by their jo job designation. Then the query is select designation average salary as uh, average salary from employee group by designation similarly for other queries also how to convert it into a sql query uh, that's the task of the sql agent and uh, it has to also provide the answer in a json json format and also we have a rag agent the task or the prompt of rag agent is you are a helpful assistant for company xyz you have access to following project documents based on the information of this document please answer the following question here the quest user question will go and context will have all the related uh, projects which are related to the query and how that happens we have used the ret retrieval qa uh, chain of lang chain um, and i also have a video specifically on rag on this particular project which I, I will add in the description section so here i am just uh, covering in high level so what here what we are doing is we are invoking the retrieval qa uh, chain of lang chain library to uh, so that depend when a query comes it will retrieve the most relevant projects based on embedding search or vector search and those most relevant project will be passed in this context and depending on the question of user the answer will be provided it will become super clear once we see the uh, uh, usage so till now what we have done is we have created few agents we have made a reason agent which makes a reason that this query needs to be answered using general intelligence or this query needs to invoke the sql agent to query the employee database or this query needs to invoke the rag agent to invoke the uh, related projects and then answer to the query and then uh, now we are inv uh, invoking the intelligence all together at once here so uh, this is the example let's say these are the set of questions what is why is global warming on the rise have we undertaken any projects related to robotics who are the employees in the companies with more than three years of experience how does binary search algorithm work what are some projects on renewable energy and what techniques are used in them what de designation exists in within the company um, and these are the set of questions whatever uh, agent x will do is first of all it will classify the query into one of the types and then depending on the query type uh, it will take the decision if it's a general query then the, simply invoke the general intelligence if it's query of type 2 then company's internal project that is the rag agent will be called and if it's uh, a sql agent related query that is the query needs to search something in the employee database uh, fetch something from the employee sql database then it will call the sql agent and also it will you can see here see, uh, sql query result it will uh, fire the query and then the results will be retrieved uh, let's see the examples output what why is global warming on the rise it can be answered using general intelligence only and it has answered it that global warming also known as climate change is a complex and multi faceted state issue the main reason for its rise is increasing level of greenhouse gases and so on we can also look at the second question have we undertaken any projects related to robotics it has classified it as query uh, uh, second which is company's internal project based searched so it is invoking the rag agent and after that invoking the rag agent the answer is yes we have undertaken a project related to robotics project titan autonomous vehicle navigation system is focused on developing a robust autonomous driving system for self-driving cars which involves robotics and navigational technologies 
थर्ड क्वेश्चन हु आर द इम्प्लॉज इन द कंपनीज विद मोर देन थ्री ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस लिस्ट ऑनली देयर नेम्स सर्चिंग इन कंपनीज डेटाबेस हेयर इट इज इन्वॉल्व द सिक्वल एजेंट एंड द क्वेरी टू एक्जीक्यूट इज सेलेक्ट इम्प्लॉय नेम फ्रॉम इम्प्लॉय वेयर ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस ग्रेटर देन थ्री एंड दीज आर द पीपल एलिस जॉनसन बॉब स्मिथ डाइना प्रिंस ईव डेविस फ्रेंक मिलर क्रेस ओपर एंड सोन द नेक्स्ट क्वेरी इज हाउ डज बाइनरी रिसर्च एल्गोरिथम वर्क इट हैज जस्ट इन्वॉल्व इट्स ऑन जनरल इंटेलिजेंस and uh, given the answer that binary search is an efficient algorithm to find an item from a sorted list of items and also it has given some codes and so on other is what are some projects on renewable energy and what techniques were used in them so here it has again invoked the rag agent company's internal project based search and the answer is project horizon energy consumption uh, forecasting for smart grids since the question was on renewable energy so project horizon is based on energy consumption forecasting for smart grids uh, and we have the answer similarly what designation exists within the company here it is again calling the sql agent searching in company's database select distinct designation from employees and these are all the designations so with that we come to the end of this video where we saw we implemented a agent x for company xyz depending on the query which can come from employees based on something that relates to searching something in employee database or something related to projects or something that can be simply answer using general intelligence so the agent will make a reason plan what to do whether to call the sql agent whether to call the rag agent or just use its general intelligence to answer the query to the best of the customer satisfaction hope you like the video please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more such updates bye